But this situation is now your fault. Don't get kicked out, Moran, not because of them. But you're telling me to be weak? No. I am telling you to be strong, through your cunning and heart. Okay? Hey. It really is the best one in the Resistance. I know. Our experience with the Ket makes us naturally distrustful of all aliens. We've had our own run-ins with the Ket. Then you really do understand. When the Archon came to Helios, he demolished our sovereign state. Took what he wanted, as if we were nothing. Now, the Ket mercilessly abduct Angara. Often, we never see our people again. Come this way. Ephra is waiting. Wait, the Ket kidnap you? Steal your people? And the Resistance fights them every day. With everything we can. Is it attrition? What are they after? You should save your questions for Ephra. Kadara be damned. I won't lose Vold. Ephra, this is one of the aliens from the Milky Way. A Pathfinder. Pathfinder. It's an aggressive move coming to Aya. It wasn't meant that way. I have an arc full of desperate people counting on me to find them a home before they starve. Of course, I feel for you and your people. So, Pathfinder, never mind how you even found us. Why are you here? On a hostile planet we call Eos, I explored an ancient structure, a vault, and brought it back online. It stabilized that planet's environment. Remnant. Recent intelligence supports that claim. If I'm right, there's a vault on Aya that's different. I need to look inside. You're right. There's a vault out there, but it was shut years ago and the entrance hidden. We... can't help you. The Moshai could. She's our most revered scientist and elder. She knows this vault. But now the Ket have her, and our rescue attempts failed. She's lost to us, and you. Sounds like we can broker a deal. There must be another way. How can I convince you? Can I offer help? Arrogant. I don't know you, let alone trust you. Why would I want your help? Of course. Ephra. I feel. Ephra, what this alien says is extraordinary. The Moshai would want us to be brave and not let this chance pass. Joel, you talk too much. Let me assess this alien. I'll be your eyes. I know you can spare me. Go if you want. But when she tries to kill you, be prepared to strike first. I'm Jal Amaderav. I'll be your envoy through Angaran space. It's gonna be cozy, so I hope you like people. I hope I don't regret this. Me too. I also hope that regret is not a thing that happens. Okay, so... First steps. All right, let's look at the map here. We've got something there, something there. Nothing over here. So let's go talk to, <coughs> excuse me. I've organized my analysis of Aya. Shall I relay it to the Nexus? Definitely. Be careful out there. Okay, let's talk to you. Stars above, it's you. I was hoping to get a chance to speak with you. You left your home to cross dark space. Is it true you can never go back? Yeah, this is home now. 
to take such a risk and give up your old life. Why did you do it? I couldn't resist the adventure of a lifetime. I know the feeling. There's a rush in taking a chance and hoping for the best. My turn for a question. Do I get to know your name? Oh, of course. I'm Avela Kajawa, curator Kajar. for the Repository of History. We study relics of our past, try to piece together what we lost in the Scourge. And the truth is, there was something I wanted to talk to you about. Pathfinder, how much do you know about our history? The cat hit your people pretty hard, right? They did. But long before that, the Scourge destroyed our technology, first targeting our ships. Many of those ships went down over Havaral. The wilds Targeting. of that planet are filled with history. A scientist on Havaral just contacted me with a new nav point of an intact crash site. A huge opportunity. But with Remnant patrolling the area, we can't get close enough. Not like you can. How do you know about me and the Remnant? I have friends in the Resistance. They heard your conversation with Ephra. I know it's a lot to ask, but you have a ship and the means to get past the Remnant. Without your help, I'm stuck. You're trusting your history with an outsider? I know what people say about you, but I don't agree. I think you're here to help. I am. Now's your chance to prove it. You want to earn Aya's respect, right? Recovering our past will go a long way. I don't think Ephra would be too happy with this arrangement. Ephra doesn't have to know. And if he finds out, he can direct his anger at me. Takes guts to stand up to him. I'd face worse to get a piece of our history back. I've always wanted to give archaeology a try. Oh, I was hoping you'd say that. If you find anything, I'll be here. Thank you, Pathfinder. Okay, cool. Navarro, I'll let you crash later. Trade? Trade. Trade. Are you asking or telling? I'm wondering. Do you exchange goods and services? How does your economy work? I mean, right now it doesn't, but... We pay for things with a currency called credits. Abstract wealth. The cat offered gifts. Made odd bargains. Never traded. What are your credits worth? What can we do with them? You pay them to us for whatever we're selling. Now we cut open the heart. And what do you offer? I don't know. Uh, what do you want? Your ship. Not for sale. Worth a try. Is there something else I can do Fair for enough. you? Fair enough. Yes. Call me Soka. I run cargo between Aya and other worlds. Good work. Good at it. You're here to help my people. Prove it. I need help. One of my suppliers off-world stopped checking in. Has things I need. There could be trouble. What makes you think I can help? You found Aya, maybe you find my supplier. Can't hurt to ask. We might have different definitions of trouble. What do you mean? Natural hazards, wild predators, misadventure, what do you mean? Same thing. What's your supplier carrying, exactly? Supplies I need, exactly. Things to keep my people alive. Essentials. You have a ship. I have my supplier's nav point. Okay. His name is Kelvo. Find him, his supplies. Come back and prove you're helpful. Then maybe we trade. Okay. Uh, alright. Cool. Um... There's a door that's locked. So I can't go over there. Okay. Well, let's go talk to this thing. Rider, ship. It's fixed up and ready to fly. Okay, uh, journal. Okay. Check your email from PB. Okay. I, uh, okay. Need the res okay. Thought I, oh no, I couldn't do that because there was too much radiation.
Okay. Skills. Cora, how many points do you have, Cora? Two. And I'm I'm gonna hold to do this, I believe. Yes. Jal? How many points do you have? You should have a lot. Sixteen, okay. Woohoo! Twenty-five percent damage or forty percent damage radius? Oh, I don't know. Let's do damage. Um, increases grenade damage and greatly increases the force of the explosion, or so fifteen percent damage and fifty percent force, or affected enemies take additional damage over time. Let's see that one. And then one point weapon damage and weapon force. Actually, let's do that one. Vetra. Four points for Vetra. Power armor. 80 damage resistance. Let's take damage resistance. I want you to be a hard target. Four points for you. Confirm. Drac is good. Peebs. Four points for you. I want to save to get that. Liam? Two for you. Alright, we're gonna hold to get some something here. Okay. Alright, cool. Let's go back then. Alright. Alright! <laughs> I'm just saying, as far as first contact goes, at least that went better than the last one. For sure. <laughs> Only slightly. Yeah, what happened? I wanted to look around. And now we have another mouth to feed, whatever he eats. Did the translators not work? They work. Come on, everyone. Can we just all please try to just listen up? Begging. Interesting strategy. Ryder, we followed our best lead here, and now we don't even have that. Jal has offered to do what he can to help us access the vault on Aya. How do we do that when we're leaving the planet it's on? That's a fair point. Jal? Seriously. Settle down. Ryder's right. There's Nangara right here. Let's hear from the new guy. Speak up, my friend. One day, about 80 years ago, the Archon and the Ket arrived in Helios, and the horror began. They declared war? Nothing so easy to define or fight. The Ket kidnap Angara. Their people disappear without a trace. What if they were us? Sure, I'll fight Ket all day long, but that's no plan. I agree. We need to get into that vault, Ryder. Surprisingly, I'm with PB. Our own mission has to take priority. We have a plan. Kind of. Pretty solid. Joel? The resistance is stretched thin. I was tasked with traveling to two of our worlds at our briefing this morning. And you'll accompany me. Because? Because then Ephra will see you as trustworthy. You want that. Jals told me about these two worlds, Havarl and Vold. Before the Scourge disaster, Vold 
was a thriving planet of billions. A shining center of technology and life. And now? It's the center of our ground war against the Ket. Our resistance base is fighting Ket Command for control of the planet. What about the other? Aval is the birthplace of the Angara. It's started to degrade, to become wild and dangerous. We suspect Remnant. Now we're talking. We've recently lost contact with our scientists. Still don't get how any of this helps us. I do. Help us, or rather help me, and I'll vouch for you, right? Because Jal wants inside Aya's vault, too. Pathfinder, it's your call. Let me weigh the options. I'll let you know. We'll be ready, whatever you decide. Jal, give Kala the nav points for both planets. Let's do this. Let's do it. Let's get after it, son. Nothing. Okay. Full roster? Is that everybody? That's okay. I'm a little disappointed that that's not that that's everyone. Okay, let's um What do I wanna do? Let's go. Let's talk to Let's look at the map. We're gonna talk to everybody. So Liam, Lexi, Jal, Callow, Suvi. Gil. Um, Cora, PB, Drac, Vetra, Sam. And then, of course, the galaxy map. I need to check my emails. Still compiling my first impressions. So let's talk to Liam. Even their body language. One hell of a trip this is turning out to be. Hostiles, ruined worlds. No home in sight. Everyone's getting <coughs> toasty. There was a two hour argument yesterday and no one even knew how it started. That's not good. Luckily, I have the perfect way for people to unwind. Movie night. Taking a breather for a good movie? I could get behind that. Best part is, it doesn't need to be good. Still get mileage out of the bad ones. It's worth it to jumpstart everyone's pioneer spirit and all that. The Tempest database is pretty dry. Could you download a movie library from Nexus Ops to see what I've got to work with? Five time. Thanks. Everyone will appreciate it. Cool. Pathfinder. Hey, I was wondering, could you put your stamp on a project? It's for me and Jarl to work on. Call it diplomacy if you have to put it in a budget bucket. Greenlight that research and it's all good. What's your read on the people we're working with? The squad and crew? They're all fine. You must have opinions. Your opinion's more important. What do you think of your people? The math says we have all the right qualifications. I trust that. That's probably what the Nexus is counting on. That our skills fit together to make it work. Up to us to figure it out. That's why this is our ship. So we own it. Want to make it work. We'll talk later. I know it. I know it. Oh, right. Liam's armor requisition. Let's go to this. Level gained. I guess let's do this one. Oh, whoops. 
Strike ready for deployment. Let's do it. I don't have a team, okay. <laughs> 